let's look at table space creation a table space is one or more physical data files that allow placement of segments table or index segments so currently in our database we already have a few pre-created table spaces So we'll create a couple of new table spaces. Create table space. The syntax is new TBS. Then you specify if you don't have a, a db create file desk configured, you need to specify the location of the data file. I give it a 0 1 so that I can add more and more data files to the same table space later. Line 3 is the physical specification for the sizing of the data file. So it starts with a 10 me megabyte size, but if the data file is full, it will add another 10 megabytes and it'll keep on adding megabytes until it hits. It, it hits the theoretical max size which is about 32 gigabytes for a 8 kilobyte block line 4 is actually the defaults in 12c you don't need to specify this for new database unless you have upgraded an older database and it's not using local extent management or auto allocate or segment space management auto and you want to use the old deprecated parameters but these are the default parameters for a new extent management local means the list of used and free extents is in bitmaps inside the table space data file itself and not in the data dictionary auto allocate means oracle automatically decides the sizes of extents whenever a table grows it sizes the next extent automatically and segment space management auto means the list of free blocks for a table blocks which are candidates for new rows that list is managed as a bitmap in the header of the table okay, so we have created a new uh, table space with one data file I can add another data file to the table space I'm just showing you a different line 3 because which shows that the physical size parameters for a data file can be different within a table space. So different data files can be in different locations with different size parameters. But line 4 of the create table space will apply to all data files. So extend management, auto allocate and segment space management will apply to all data files because those are table space attributes not data file attributes while size, auto extend and max size are data file attributes so they are private to each data file So here you can see the new data files added to the new table space. I can keep on adding more data files. The theoretical limit is 1024, but there is a database parameter limit which I will need to increase if I want to add more data files to the database. I can add more table spaces and each table space will have one or more data files. Now these table space that I've created new TBS has a data file which I had to name and data file which I had to size. If I'm using the Oracle Manage Files feature, I don't need to name the data file. I don't need to specify the size of the data file. Line 4 are table space attributes, so they're not part of Oracle Manage File definitions. 
and they will they are the defaults anyway in 12c whether I use Oracle managed files or manually created files this is a manually created file so I will now use an Oracle managed file table space to do that I have to configure a parameter it's called db create file dest I give the name of the parent directory under the overall data, data directory it will automatically create a subfolder based on the database unique name when I create data files so let me add new tab table space that's it I just create a table space for the table space name line 4 attributes are defaults lines 2 and 3 attributes of the data file size uh, data file name and size are automatically managed by Oracle that's what the Oracle managed file feature is so you can see here although the location was specified as ORA data it has added a subfolder called ORCL based on the database unique name another folder called data file I could have a folder for redo log files so there will be a differently named folder and then a unique name for the data file which, in, which the O1 MF means it's Oracle managed file portion of the table space name comes in here and then a string which identifies the data file uniquely if I add another data file to the table space I don't have to specify the location and the size of the data file it is automatic the only thing is with Oracle managed files the default file size is still is actually 100 megabytes let me show you that the unique name is guaranteed and the file size is 100 megabytes they are also created with auto extend on 100 megabytes and max size unlimited so I could give a user let me just give a smaller quota here once you give a quota to a user with the alter user quota configuration you can query dbats quotas to show what is the quota and how much has been used so here I have given the HR user a quota of 10 megabytes on new dbs and an unlimited quota unlimited means actually limited by the size of the table space which is limited by the size of all the data files in that table space so now HR can go in and create tables or you could create a different way So you can create a table space as select from another table 
they, they, they can create a table as a select from another table and this is very specify the table space name immediately after specifying the table name and which creating a table which is uh, up empty up front without selecting from another table he specifies the table definition and then the table space name so this is how you create table spaces if it's not oracle manage file you have to give the data file name and the size specifications line 4 here is table space parameters not data file parameters when you add another data file again you give file name and file sp size specifications but if you use oracle manage files with this parameter called db create file dest you don't have to give any specifications for the data file name or size and once you create a table space you grant quota to a user on the table space and then the user can create tables in the table space